George Floyd was killed, I think most Black folks weigh, you know, which is the greater of the pandemic. So if you really are honest about it, to call them essential workers is a lie. It's like, uh, it's like calling a prison a correctional institution. We're teaming up with the rest of the world, and we plan to put our labor where our mouth is. And to the young people, we need you here today. We need you here tomorrow. Are we we're finding a way to remain physically distant, but socially connected, and that's worth a smile or two. From Pacifica Radio, this is COVID, Race, and Democracy, a collective effort by producers from the Pacifica Network and radio affiliates. I am your host, Nana Jumpy. In today's edition of COVID, Race, and Democracy, we hear from the political prisoner, Black Panther, and journalist, Mumia Abu-Jamal. The international Longshore Workers Union strike in Oakland, California, voices of protesters and organizers from the streets of New York, and from New Orleans, activist and infectious disease physician, Dr. Mark Allen Derry. But first, the news. I'm Eileen Alfandari with KPFA News Headlines. The Georgia NAACP plans to march on the state capitol in the wake of the weekend's fatal Atlanta police shooting of Rashard Brooks. The march was previously planned to demand lawmakers address failures in the criminal justice and electoral systems. Now it has the added focus of the police killing of Brooks, a 27-year-old black man. The Brooks family attorney said there was no justification for shooting Brooks in the back as he fled with an officer's taser. The Atlanta police chief resigned hours after the shooting. Police announced Sunday one officer had been fired and another placed on administrative duty. Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms spoke Saturday. I do not believe that this was a justified use of deadly force and have called for the immediate termination of the officer. The officer was fired. Brooks leaves behind four children. On Friday, he had celebrated the eighth birthday of one of his daughters. Los Angeles County Sheriff Alex Villanueva is scheduled to hold an online town hall to address the death of a black man found hanging from a tree in the city of Palmdale. Today's meeting will come amid increasing pressure to conduct an independent inquiry into last week's death of Robert Fuller. The coroner's office initially said the 24-year-old appeared to have died by suicide. That prompted an outcry by his family and community members calling for an independent inquiry and autopsy. California deaths from COVID-19 have topped 5,000. According to statistics compiled by the San Francisco Chronicle, 27 people died in the state yesterday from COVID-19, including five in the Bay Area. Last week, nine counties reported a spike in new cases or hospitalizations. Parts of China and India are locking down again after new COVID-19 cases. Beijing reinstated measures to control the spread of the coronavirus amid a growing outbreak. Many of the Beijing new cases have been traced to a wholesale market that supplies much of the capital's meat and vegetables. Beijing closed the market and ordered testing of its workers and a quarantine for anyone who visited it. You are listening to COVID, Race and Democracy, a daily show produced by Pacifica Radio and its affiliates around the country. Find out more about our work at our website, covidtaskforce.pacifica.org. Dr. Melina Abdullah is a mom of three beautiful and brilliant Black children, co-founder and lead organizer of Black Lives Matter Los Angeles, and a professor and former chair of the Pan-African Studies Department at Cal State L.A., Greetings, Melina. 